Singapore, a food love is paradise. Among the country's national dish is the chicken rice, but that's a problem. Asia is facing the challenge of feeding 10 billion people by 2050. Meanwhile, the Singapore government's goal of producing 30% of the country's nutritional need would mean a seismic shift from traditional meat sources to alternative protein production. The issues with um, animal protein and that it simply won't be enough animal protein to feed the world and hence looking to plant protein. Consumers are a lot more knowledgeable at the moment um, in, in what they put into their bodies and I think they are a lot more aware of the different options up, out there in terms of uh, improving their diet. So this is, this is something that we see is really driving this industry. Singapore is a key research and innovation hub in the region, supporting the development of alternative protein. So this is a unique setup that we have, a collaboration between Jibidon and Bueller. Uh, it's designed to be a one-stop shop for companies and startups to come and develop their prototypes. The centre provides a unique approach Welcome and expertise to, to co-create plant-based products that I meet consumers' that needs. Here, companies can take the their products from idea to market, all in a couple of weeks or even days. Starting with consumer understanding and concept development, to sourcing raw ingredients like soy and pea protein, to pre- and post-extrusion application of flavours, colours and other ingredients, to cooking and tasting, and finally, skill up and production, all under one roof. The collaboration of experts from renowned equipment manufacturer Bueller and a taste and well-being leader Jibodon accelerates innovation of plant-based products. We get to put the taste elements in at different stages through the process. So whether it's before it would go into an extrusion process, whether it's during the um, extrusion process or whether it is after the extrusion process. Support from the centre helps lower the barrier to enter the market especially for newcomers trying to enter the alternative protein category. One of the users is Australia-based OG Foods, a startup on a mission to design a sustainable food future, producing dairy and meat alternative products. It was exactly what we were looking for in terms of scale, uh, in terms of availability and, and capability. It's a pilot-scale extruder that has the latest technologies attached. Uh, at that particular scale, is uh, there's very, very few available here in the region. It's the best facility that I've seen in the region, um, and it's, it's uh, quite cost competitive, so uh, it was a no-brainer. Among the challenges of producing plant-based protein products is to bring food to the market that is not just tasty and nutritious, but to have a texture and taste that pleases the Asian palate. To overcome the challenges, the Protein Innovation Centre, for example, uses state-of-the-art aeration technology, where nitrogen is injected into the extruder, creating microporous structures with high volume and low density. This allows for the flavorings to go through the entire product as opposed to just the surface of the product. The product is lighter, has a lot more layers, uh, and we see a huge advantage of using the aeration technology to create high moisture um, uh, extruded products. High moisture extrusion creates products that better mimic the structural qualities of meat. This would be key to improving the nutritional profile of plant-based meat and seafood. But it is not only texture that matters. Taste is equally important to keep consumers coming back for more. Givaudan is well known in the marketplace for its consumer sensory insights. And we take those and we really help our customers transform those into their products. Innovation is happening fast in Asia and the alternative protein products make for great tasting meals for a sustainable and delicious food future.